Hello everyone and welcome back to the third video in my small house build series. Today we are building the house for the swamp. Uh, this one will be a little bit different but uh, yeah I think you'll like it. So without further ado let's head on in. As I said this one's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be the same 6 meter by 8 meter uh, build that we done for the last two builds but it'll be the same area inside so with that I will show you what I am have planned so I'm gonna do an octagonal shape putting uh, three meters on a side I'm gonna alternate the one meter or one by one square block or stair stone wall and the two by one stone wall and turn it rotate it two clicks after every three meters making sure that the inside corner of the stones is what is connecting and you don't want it overlapping like this uh, with the outside corners paired up you want the inside corners paired off That'll give you the right amount of area on the inside. All right, so we made it all the way around. All right, so the next thing I want to do, do this first. I'm gonna knock out the back wall. Pick up all those stones. That's fine. I can be overburned for a little bit. Is in here? Where is it? I'm gonna throw down our hearth now to get it where i want it to i'm going to do the shift click and this can be a little finicky at times may need a little bit of uh re multiple tries um to get lined up just right but i think that looks pretty good let's give that a shot all right Actually, before we move any further, I'm going to grab iron, three iron and three chains. I think the chains are in here, yep. I'm going to make my iron cooking station now. I'm going to go ahead and get that done and out of the way. So that I can build up around it. And um, otherwise, if I build the wall up, I would not be able to place this like this. And this is the way I want it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to place a uh, just a spot holder wall here for a second. And put two walls across here. Now we can remove this placeholder wall. We want to put a two by one meter wall on either side of it. All right, so that is gonna be the basic layout of our house. What we need up front is a door. This is a bit tricky. For the door, I'm gonna use the wooden gate. I'm just gonna estimate, that's about where I wanted, I think. I think so let's see how this works all right so for this I'm gonna do the shift click and I want to get it so that the um, side next to the door is just touching the door and so that the back side is lined up with the inside corner of the wall next to it so about like that I'm going to do the same thing over here. About like that. Alright, so actually that looks pretty good. I got pretty lucky the first time. Those are about even. It might not be exactly even, but it's pretty close. So we'll go with that. Alright, so now it's time to build up the wall. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to just alternate 
the two meter meter and four or two meter and one meter walls all the way up there are gonna be eight levels in the end so back here uh, what I'm gonna do oh, what did I do where did I go back here what I'm gonna do is again just go about like this let's see over here so the thing you want to check with with the uh, fireplace is I mean if there's a little bit of the corner sticking out here that's fine um, I try to avoid that if I can um, but it can be hard sometimes um, really ideally what you want though is let's go ahead and place this first uh, ideally what you want is more of just it to be even on either side and this looks pretty good it's not perfect but it's close enough for me all right so now i'm going to continue building up on all these sides All right, so just finished the walls. I haven't finished the back of the chimney or the front wall because I'm going to do a little something different with each of those. So for the chimney, let's just go ahead and build, keep building that up a bit. This is only going to go up six levels. All right, we will build up a bit on the inside, but we'll do that in a little bit. So the front. So to start out, we're just going to build up three meters to the top of the door. And then we're actually going to line things up cor correctly. All right, and from here... We're going to put the stone arches on either side. Right, like that. Alright, and then the next level up will be two two meter beams. And then we're going to put, or two meter walls. And we're going to put two one meter walls with arches in between them again. And then going up we will just finish off the wall. All right, so there we go. So the next thing we want to do is get some of these stone pillars. But we want to put them on the corners of the fire of the hearth. We're going to increase that up to another level. Next, we're going to put stone arches here at the top like so and then we're gonna go back to just building up with the one and two meter walls up to the top like so it will be a little bit shorter than uh, the rest of the walls but that is perfect that's what that's what we want Alright, and out back, we will want to protect our fire. So we're going to get the stone arch and use that across here. Need four of them to cover it up. And there we go. We have our uh, protected fire pit, protected hearth. So the next thing I want to do is fill in these gaps in the wall. There are a lot of them, and they need some work. So these two up front are going to be relatively easy. We're going to get this stone pillar. And we're not going to let it snap in like that. We're going to keep it pulled out a touch. We actually want it so that it's angled. Just one click off of um, being straight from the Ford. So angled out by one. We're going to put it into the wall about 
maybe a quarter to a third of the way. And then the same thing over here. One click out and into the wall maybe a quarter to a third of the way or so. And then we're going to build that all the way up. There we go. Alright. So, next thing we're going to do is take these stone arches again. Put one here. Alright, I uh, realize that these are arches are not correct. <laughs> Most of these arches are not correct. So that includes these. Those. And these as well are wrong. It means this entire wall is off. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. There we go. Now the wall is correct. Now we want these arches up front to be here. And here. Right, like that. With this, we're going to make some columns on the outside. Now these columns are going to be custom columns that are courtesy of Verso. Um, it's a, Verso is an amazing Valheim content creator and fantastic builder. And he is the one that came up with these columns. Or the idea for these columns. What you're going to do is start out by putting a 2 meter wood pole about in the middle, a little bit out from the wall. Then we're going to switch over to one meter pole and turn it two clicks. And then using shift click, we're going to move it in close as possible so that the outside corners line up as evenly as you can get. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So again, two clicks and slide it in close as possible, trying to get the corners to match up as much as you can. It can be kind of difficult. It's about like that. Now we're going to take the two meter uh, poles and putting them on top of the poles that we already have, we're going to build all the way up the top. And for the sides, we'll need to switch over to a one meter pole at the very top. Now for the center, uh, we will just need the two meter poles going up all the way. All right, like that. So we're going to do that on uh, obviously this corner, that corner, and these two over here. Putting the final touches on these four columns right here all right so now we have our four custom columns and our four stone columns so the next gaps we need to fill in are these back here or a four meter core wood beam and a two meter on top of that so this is being a little finicky over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to line the top like so. Getting it down into the wood there. And then we're going to try to use that as a guide. Like that. Right like that. There we go. Alright, so since we're here, let's go ahead and finish off the trim on the chimney. Alright, so to trim out the corners here, we're going to put some wood beams all the way down, but we're going to angle it a little bit. We're going to angle it two clicks out, like so. Alright. So to finish off the decorations on the chimney, we're going to come over here and grab the uh, wood dragon adornment. We're going to put three layers, alternating levels there. And we're going to have 
one on either side. Alright, so there we have our chimney all decorated out. And we have our walls, we have our doors, we have our fire pit. Now, I think it is time that we need to do the roof. So the roof's going to be a bit tricky. So we're going to start out by getting the 2 meter wood beam. And we're going to angle it out two clicks and have it click in or snap into the, the stone wall. So that it forms this uh, little triangle here. We're going to do that on six of these um, eight sides. We're not going to do it on the front or on the back. So we now have all the angles done. So into those, we are going to put the thatched corner or thatched roof O corner. 45 degrees. We're going to snap one of those in to each of these corners that we created. Right like so. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the thatch roof 45 degree and we're going to go across from these corners to the other. If I can get it to, to clip in. There we go. For me. There we go. Alright, so again, as you can see, there will be a little gap. We can just fill that in like so. We're going to do the same thing on this side, the front, and the back. All right, there we go. We have the first layer of our roof. Pick up all this wood that I've dropped. So we're going to continue up. When the corner pieces attach to the other, all six corner pieces. And then uh, we'll just have a couple of small little gaps that we can fill in with corner pieces that we may need to uh, shift shift click for right like that and there we go we now have our roof let's head inside and check it out there we go all right so now that we have our walls our roofs I want to finish off the columns. These are looking a little plain still. We'll start with the uh, the columns up front. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the chimney on the back. We're going to get these two meter beams two clicks out so we, they're angled. We're going to put them on um, the two outer sides all the way up. And then up here at top, at the top, we're going to put some one meter beams like this on these three sides. No need to put it on the back, it will not be seen. There we go. I like that. So I'm also going to add some beams up here. On top of the custom columns. Just to top them off a little bit. As you can see, things don't always quite line up quite perfectly with these shift clicks and cu custom places. But that's fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to finish off our custom columns. So unfortunately for that, we're going to need to destroy the first level of each column. 
Alright, so what we're going to do... We're going to take the stone floor 2x2. Two two. We're going to put it so that the corner is sticking out from, from the column. Then we're going to ease it in about so that the, uh, the corners on the sides line up with the uh, stone walls. About like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're going to do that on all four sides. And same thing here. So now we need to replace these wood beams that we destroyed. And this can sometimes be a little bit challenging, especially for these small one meter beams here at the bottom. Sometimes we'll need to destroy this stone wall on the side here. And the one above it. Try to get it to snap in. Now before we destroy too much more, oh, let's go ahead and replace these walls. And let's see if we can get the other side to snap in properly. Nope, we're going to need to destroy these walls as well. And we'll do that on all four sides, replacing all the, the beams. Alright, we are on our last one. So let's finish replacing this wall. Oh, that's not the right location. That's not what I wanted. Alright, let's head inside to try to finish this up because I destroyed the wrong thing. Let's see if I can get this to go in correctly. There we go. And there. As you'll see, the stones will stick out into the inside a little bit, but that's fine. We're going to use that later. So now we have our columns, our custom columns, all completed. Alright, but there still needs to be a bit more decoration up front on the front columns. Um, we'll put them now here on the outside. And about like that. There we go. Let's head inside and work on the inside for a little bit. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab the hoe, go to the paved road. Because I think for the floor in here, I'm going to go with the... Paved road. Like so. Then here. In the fire pit. I'm gonna put some stairs up so we can easily get up there. And around the sides. I'm going to put some. Uh, stone floors. So this is. Again going to be a bit. Touchy uh, with the custom placing that might need a little bit of work before you get it the way you want. We want to have plenty of room, but we also don't want to take up too much space, especially in here by the door. We need to leave plenty of room for us to be able to walk in. And walk out without any difficulty. This actually needs to move over a little bit more. Let's try about there. Yeah, there we can walk in and out without any difficulty now. 
I'm going to place these here now along the side. I like that. I want to make sure that they aren't sticking out the sides at all. That would not be ideal. Okay, there we go. I'm going to tear down the workbench. I'm going to move the workbench in here. I'm going to put it right there. So now we're going to make the second floor. We're going to put that right here, right above this stone arch. I want it just like so. Alright, so now we need to destroy some of these to make room for the stairs. So for the stairs, we're going to use the wood ladder. Put it there and there. Then we'll put some uh, one by one wood floors here. If I can get this to snap in correctly, that would be great. Oh, I had it. There it is. And then more stairs. Wood ladders there. Now we have our first floor and our second floor. All right, so now it's time to start filling these floors. I'm going to move the forge into about here. We're going to move it up there. I'm going to put some half walls or um, half floors around to add some more room for some storage. We're going to put some around here, like so, and, and angle that here. Let's get that snapped in correctly. All right, there we go. And we're actually going to put some... Um, Decorations here on the fire pit as well. That will give us a bit more storage, actually. A two meter log pole here and here. And then the beam across there. And one more above it. And then we're going to put some one by one floors angling out out like that and like that we'll put some wood beams across here and then over here we're going to add a little bit more flooring not much, just a little bit. Right there. Alright, so this is going to give us some uh, storage area for our various upgrades and for um, some chests. Alright, so I've got a bunch of iron and a bunch of wood and a bunch of fine wood. So we can start making some chests. So I'm going to put an iron chest up here. A couple of regular chests here let's get them right I just angle it a little bit I might need to just move it around a bit till it will fit right like that continue this along here and this is where the Smith's anvil goes I need to pick up this wood. Alright, so the Smith's Anvil is going to go as far over here as we can get. going to put a regular chest 
right there. Iron chest, or reinforced chest, here. Grinding wheel, up here. And moving it over as, just as far as I can. Another iron chest here. And I'm trying to fit it in as much as I can. All right, like that. And we're going to put the anvils right about. Oh, oh, I had it. I had it. There we go. Right about there. Now let's put it up over the fireplace. I think that'll look good. That'll work. Let's put the forge bellows right where it'll go right next to it. Put the forge cooler over here. Alright, like that. So there, we've got some decent storage started. Got a workbench that works. So far only level 1. And then... Got a fully upgraded forge. But let's see if we can move it a bit closer to the edge so that we can don't need to jump up. There we go. We now have a level 7 forge. So let's finish off working on the first floor. So we're going to start out putting blue porches around. Let's go ahead and move that workbench over a little bit. Not like that. That'll be better. <laughs> Alright, so we got our iron cooking station. We got our fire pit. We're going to put cauldron far over as it can so that we can ac access the cauldron. Access the iron cooking station and access the fire. And we're going to put the spice rack hanging from all over here. Have a little bit of iron left. That should be enough. So, so that we don't walk into the fire, I'm going to put some of the cage wall one by one. There. And there. That way we can still access the fire. We'll access the cooking station, we'll access the cauldron, and we won't walk into the fire. Alright, so there we go. We've got the first floor of our house completed. Now we need to move up to the second floor. We need more storage. Always need more storage. So what we're going to do, we're going to build another sort of half wall over here like so but just on these two sides that's the only place we're gonna put them cooperate with me there we go so we're gonna put some reinforced chests up here to be able to fit two of them like so Around the core, around the sides up top, we're gonna just add some regular chests. We're gonna put one in the corner here. We can probably fit three chests up here if we're careful. And one more up top over here. So, we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. And there, there we go. So now we have a decent amount of chests. This is very dark up here. So I want to open up some windows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out these two. Well, those three, honestly. <laughs> Um, and just fill in the corners here, the, the edges here, leave that open. So I'm not going to put any windows on the back three walls here. I need to open that up too. 
I'm going to use the cage wall 2x2. Two two. And I'm going to shift click to put it in the middle here. And then on the rest of them, I'm going to use the cage wall 1x1. One one. Again, shift clicking to put them in the middle. Like so. There we go. We have windows. These windows on the outside need a little bit of decoration. On the top and bottom, I'm just going to add the one by one, or the one meter beams. Like that. Alright, then I'm going to get the two meter pole. And same with the other decorations, I'm going to angle it out twice. Just add a little bit more shape. There we go, we have some windows. Okay, so let's fill in the top uh, the top floor. This is going to be our living quarters. We're going to start out by putting down our bed. It's going to be over here, up next to the wall. And at the head of the bed... We're going to put chest back up here. And then we're going to put stool for a nightstand. We're going to toss our portal down over here. Uh, trying to make it so it's not in the way as much as possible of the stairs. Alright, there we go. We should be able to get up and down no problem. And we're going to put some more furniture up here. We're going to put a desk. And Raven Throne. Let's put it right there. That'll be good. And then let's make the fermenter. We'll toss that back in the corner over here. There's where it'll fit. We might need to break that. Get a bit more room. So now we can rebuild our desk. And our throne. Add a bit more decoration and a bit more comfort. So we're going to build an armor stand up here. Put it about in the middle. And we're also going to put some color up here. And we're going to do that by adding some of these banners. Let's go ahead and add a couple of these banners. Alright, so I'm going to make item stands. We're going to put one vertical item stand there. We're going to put some item stands here on either side of these windows. Alright, like that. On the armor stand, we're going to put a bow and the root armor. And on the item stands on the wall, we will add some trophies. Let's put blob there, our elite there. Got to put the elder, abomination, Dogger, and skelly boy. And we'll put the circlet up here on this item stand. And we'll add a couple of deer rugs there and there. Alright, so it's really dark up here. And it'll probably be really dark at night. And up here, we're not going to do the blue one, we're going to do the green iron standing torch. One there, one there. See if we can get one back in the corner here. 
right there. And one back in the corner. There. There we go. Now we got some color. Now we got some light. We're going to put some food on this table because we need food. We've got a black soup, turnip stew, and a muck shake. Let's go ahead and add those. There we go. We got some nice good food there. So we still need some more color out front. Put some banners up. And for the next set of banners, I'm going to put here. I put uh, these wood beams so they stick out a bit more. There we go. And there. Alright, so we need some more light up front. So we're going to add sconces up here. One there. One there. And up top, we're going to do some hanging braziers there. And then we're also going to put a hanging brazier inside. Hanging from the top of the roof. Right there. Alright, so there is our house. So now it's time to finish up the outside of the build. We're going to put ads right here. Chopping block there. The tanning rack will go right there. Now let's go ahead and move this so I don't want this over here. Instead, we're going to put it the stone cutter off on this side. And with that, we will put some stone. We'll make three stone piles over here. Right, about like that. So now, we got to make our... Um, Industrial zone. We're going to do that over here. Alright, and I need the charcoal kiln. So will put one charcoal kiln there and there. Let's move this one over a little bit more. We're going to put one smelter here and the other one right about there. And we're going to make some stacks of wood up here. And... These... Stacks right there. And... Right... There. That'll work. So we're going to put a couple of coal stacks here. No, oh, that's black marble. Coal stacks. I want coal stacks. Alright, there. So we got those ready to go. Alright. So we've got our industrial zone all ready to go. And our stone cutter so we can do repairs. Alright, so the last thing. We need a garden. And we're going to do a two-tier garden back here. So that's why I have it set up like this. Let's go ahead and make start of a garden area here. And then we'll come up top and do a bit more. Alright, but I do want this protected. Let's go ahead and put in fencing around the garden. Alright, so here at the this side, 
I'm going to put some two meter beams. Right, and between those, I'm going to put... Oh, I need to adjust these a little bit. I'm going to put some uh, wood shutters. So now let's put that there. And put this gate. Or a uh, rumple fence. There we go. Like that. That'll be good. That'll be good. And then I'm going to put that there. And there we go. Now I've got a cultivator there ready for us. All right. So now we need to plant some things. And I'm going to start out by uh, making the beehives, which I realized. I did not put the, the queen bees on the chests. I did not have those listed. We'll put some of these up here. Let's separate the upper and lower garden. And down here in the bottom, I am going to plant some carrots and carrot seeds. All right, and then up top, I'm going to put and turnips and turnip seeds all right and we have our our two level garden there we go and i'm going to use the plant everything mod again just to add uh couple of bushes here and there. Again, just for some color, just for some decoration. Because um, I think they look nice. Alright, there we go. And there we have it. We have our swamp house. All done and good to go. So with that, we have our swamp house completed. I hope you enjoyed and uh, maybe found something useful that uh, that you liked. Um, so with that, I will see you next time when I build the small house for the mountain biome. Until then, take care. <laughs>